Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create an iCloud account for free. No need of credit card or anything like that for this iCloud account. And you don't need an iPhone or a Mac or anything really to have an iCloud account. Obviously, it's good if you have one, but it's not necessary. Just go into any web browser and you guys are going to type in iCloud.com. Now, this will pop up once you guys do that. Okay, so it's iCloud.com. You guys will see this. And down here below, you guys will see create Apple ID. So right here, create Apple ID. All right, so we're just going to click right there. And this will prompt up. Okay, again, any web browser will do. And right here, you guys can see, if you already have an Apple ID, sure, just click on sign in, you're done. But right now we're going to create one. So just type in your first name. So for example, tech and design like this YouTube channel. We're going to put your country, so USA. Well, whatever you guys country you're from right now, you guys can put it right here. OK, so just select whichever it is, your birthday. OK, just remember, if you guys are not putting stuff that's real, just remember this information. OK, I understand that nobody, not everybody wants to put their personal information here. 100% understandable. However, that means you guys should keep everything in mind, okay? Because if you guys forget your username or your password for your app ID, you guys do need to know this information such as your birthday and other information like the security questions that will be coming up in order to recover that app ID. So it's very important that you guys remember all this information. Anyways, let's just get back to this. So down here below, what I usually recommend for this part, okay, is putting in whatever email you guys use the most, okay? So if you guys use your Gmail, then I would use that username for your Apple ID. That way you guys always remember it. However, you guys can put whatever you guys want. So I'm gonna put in tech and design video channel. By the way, I, I do get comments from people saying, oh, why did you just show us your email and password and all that? Don't worry about it. I always use fake accounts and stuff like that for tutorials. Never use anything real. Okay, so don't worry, guys. This is just for tutorial for you guys to see. Anyways, password. Password. Right here, it does tell you that you need eight characters or more. You guys do need to use an uppercase, lowercase letters, and at least one number. It does not say anything about any special characters that you guys have to use, like a question mark and so on. However, if you want it to be really secure, use a question mark or something, okay? Some type of symbol in order to make this password a little bit stronger. So in this case, I'm gonna use the same password that I have for my email. So right here, it's tech and design 2019 question mark. So I'm just gonna paste that in there, paste this in there. So once you guys do this, send that password as a text or somewhere or write it down somewhere so you guys don't forget it. Okay, so I really recommend doing that just so you guys don't forget it. Again, right here, you guys do need to know these things. So keep in mind that's something easy for you guys to remember. So name of your first pet, for example, it's tech and design. Now these things you guys can choose yourselves. There's a bunch of questions so you guys can choose from. So it depends, okay? So tech and design channel. And question number three, I can do your first album purchase. Let's just do that. My first album was, that's right, tech and design album channel. Oops, not album, channel the best. And then down here, you guys can sign up for any one of these things. You don't have to. So if you guys don't want any Apple news, just don't click right here. Don't click right here if you guys don't want more of that stuff. If you guys don't want any to receive any of this junk, spam, mail, then don't click on any of them. So most of you, I know you guys won't want this, so I'm not gonna click on any of those. And then down here, we do have to type this in, which can be very, very annoying, I know. And if the code's not working right here, you guys can get a new code. So if you guys can't see what this is, don't worry about it, just go into new code or there's the second option as well. Anyways, let's just go and continue. 
and there we go. So an email has been sent to this email, okay? So that means you guys have to go into your email and check out what that code is. Now it's gonna be exactly this long. So we're gonna go into our Gmail account and check right here. So right here you guys see Apple, all right? So let's just click right there. And before I even keep going with this, any emails from Apple, you guys won't just see the name Apple, but you guys should see something like this. Okay, it could be apple.com as well, or at idapple.com. But if it's a really strange email and the name's Apple, it could be a scam, it could be virus, it could be a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of stuff going around like that. So don't fall for those, always check what email that's coming from. So this one would be a legit one, and here's my code that I got from Apple. So I'm gonna copy this, perfect. And then I'm gonna paste it right here. Now if it doesn't let you paste, which it usually does, just type it in, okay? And then we can just put continue. Okay, now up here, this could tell you if you guys want to save your password or not, it's your choice. I'm gonna put that now. And then here I'm gonna put agree. You guys can download a copy by the way. Nobody really does that, but you always do have to agree in order to actually sign up for this iCloud account. So again, you guys can use this iCloud account for your iPhone, for your new Mac, for an iPad, for anything that's Apple related, you guys can use this Apple account, all right? Right here, you guys can also choose the language. So you guys don't need to choose this, English UK, for example. You guys can choose anything you guys want. You guys can upload a photo if you like. I'm not gonna do that, most people don't. And right here, you guys can just click on start using iCloud. So once you guys do that, you guys will see all the stuff that's inside iCloud. So if you guys have a phone hooked up, all right, with this iCloud account and whatever you guys import, as contacts there, you guys can access those contacts right here. So I'm gonna click on contacts. Obviously right now we just created this, so all this will be empty, right? It's just gonna have you guys. So we're just gonna go back onto iCloud. Right here, iCloud Drive, you guys can store up to five gigs, which is nothing. Under notes, it's pretty good. You guys can actually store quite a few notes right here. Again, it's good if you guys have an iPhone or something, all this will sync up so you guys can look up your notes. Whatever notes right now I'm gonna type in and just save those on iCloud. I can just go back on my phone for example, or an iPad or another Mac and always look up those notes. So it all syncs up. Pages, same deal. All this pages, numbers, and keynote. Pages is like Microsoft Word. Numbers is like Microsoft Excel. And Keynote is more like PowerPoint. So if you guys ever used Microsoft PowerPoint, Keynote is the Mac version of that. You guys can access those, create those from here. You guys can also look up your settings. So let's just go right into settings because this is actually pretty important. So under your settings, you guys will see, this will tell me that I have one gig of iCloud storage. Okay, which is kind of weird. It's, um, I think once I sync it up with my iPhone, it's gonna tell me five because it's always been five unless they just took it down a notch which is a huge difference actually from five to one gig. But I hope that's not the case now. From here, you guys can also actually manage your Apple IDs. If I go into manage, so if you're going to manage right here, you guys should be able to put your email. You guys can put remember me or not. So I'm just gonna not. I'm gonna click right here. You guys have to put in your password that you just created. So it's gonna copy it over. Mine's right here. I hate retyping, so I'm always copying and pasting. And here are the questions that it's gonna ask you in order for you guys to get in, okay? So I won't go over this part, but under manage, you guys will be able to see if you guys have any iPhones, Apple TVs, any Apple products, you guys will be able to see there, okay? But right now, you guys are done creating your iCloud account. Let me just go back to it. And right here, again, you guys can see everything that's in your iCloud account. You can access it from a PC, for example. Again, you don't need a Mac computer or an iPhone or anything like that in order to create this iCloud account. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.